Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Before we continue with our celebration of the Eucharist today, we will pause to consider our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God. Let us pray. O God, who chose St. John Baptist de La Salle to educate young Christians, raise up, we pray, teachers in your church, ready to devote themselves wholeheartedly to the human and Christian formation of the young. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, for one believes with the heart and is so justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. For the scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is the Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what has been heard from us? Thus faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did, for their voice has gone forth to all the earth, and their words to all the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory the disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you. Let us remember that we are in the presence of God. Normally, few of us would be here this morning on the campus of Manhattan College. However, today we are here for a very special occasion and reason. 
the occasion for being here. This is the 7th of April, the church's designation for the feast of St. John Baptist de La Salle. It's also the day of the dedication of the Barrytown windows of St. LaSalle that have been installed in this campus chapel. Unfortunately, right now, we can't see the beauty of them because they're covered for the ceremony later this morning. But if you have been on the internet and seen some of the photos of them, they are extraordinary. And we'll see that later this morning. The reason for our being here, and I'll offer three. The first is to celebrate this liturgy, to thank God for the many blessings and graces he has given to each one of us. Also, to thank God for the many things and many ways that God provides for us, for calling St. John Baptist de La Salle and Christian brothers to ministry of Christian education, especially to those that are poor, disadvantaged. The second reason that these windows are not simply metal and glass, frames and pretty pictures. These windows tell a story of how people with their lives can live out the scripture passages that we heard today. A community of believers was with one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they had everything in common. From Romans, we hear, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? The gospel reading we heard today, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. These windows also tell the story of St. John Baptist de La Salle himself. The congregation of the De La Salle Christian Brothers. The brothers of the New York District, the district of Eastern North America. And the countless people who continue the ministry of education in the tradition of St. LaSalle. In a personal way, these windows tell a story of each particular brother, relative, person being remembered in the dedication of these windows and also of those who were remembered when these windows were first obtained and brought here from France. The gift of themselves in living out what God asks of them. Their generous willingness to help others 
to become the people that they are of leading a holy life. And in a more personal way, these windows tell a story of each person gathered here and many others who could not attend this gathering this morning. The story of how God, through the Christian brothers and their associates, inspired us to recognize our talents, to develop them to the fullest of our capabilities, and to use those talents and gifts and share them in building up God's kingdom. The windows tell a story of most grateful people. The third aspect for the reason that we're here is that these windows have now been given new life. They've been resurrected from the site in Barrytown at the novitiate. And they live here now on the Manhattan College campus. These windows will be a source of inspiration to the current and future generations who will attend Manhattan College and to all those who visit this campus, especially those who celebrate the liturgy in this chapel. They will inspire all to embrace the example of St. LaSalle, to always live in the presence of God. This is a fitting occasion for these windows of De La Salle. They offer us a wonderful opportunity to thank God, to remember those who have given of themselves and helped us change our lives, and to inspire young women and men in the example of St. LaSalle. Live Jesus in our hearts. St. John Baptist de La Salle. We will now recite the creed which is in the pamphlet. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. Holy Spirit, incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried, and rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son is adored and glorified, is spoken through the prophets. I believe in the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. My brothers and sisters, while celebrating with joy in the spirit, 
the solemnity of St. John Baptist de La Salle, we now raise our humble prayers to God that he will grant us to imitate in our lives the admirable example of this saint. That the church, mother of saints and light of God among us, assure a safe journey for God's people through the leadership of the Holy Father and the bishops. Let us pray to the Lord. that the spiritual descendants, disciples, and admirers of St. John Baptist de La Salle discover in his way of living the gospel the encouragement to think and act in a holy manner. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That teachers and educators transmit to youth not only the light of doctrine and knowledge, but also the warmth of Christian charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are poor and marginalized receive aid, enlightenment, and consolation through God's love and Lasallian education. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. that we who share in this Eucharist find in the example of St. John Baptist de La Salle a spur to lead a holy life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who have left this world in God's friendship, especially members of the Manhattan College community and the Brothers Institute, Find eternal rest and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, accept the gift of your people. Hear the prayers which we ask our founder to entrust to you. Lead us to imitate him as he himself imitated your son, Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands. Praise in the glory of his name. Accept, O Lord, the gift of your people in honor of St. John Baptiste de La Salle. Grant that participation in this mystery may help us to express in our daily life the power of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example leads us to courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in everything we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we now sing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, on the oblation of your church, and recognize in the sacrificial victim by whose death grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John Baptist de La Salle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the family you have summoned here before you, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, merciful Father, and gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all pleased you have passing from this life, give kind of to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, who we bestow on the world all that is good. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ the 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 body of Christ Let us pray. O God, you have satisfied us with the bread of life. Grant that through the example of St. John Baptiste de La Salle, we may draw down the fullness of wisdom, goodness, and knowledge of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
I would like to thank Father Hill for everything he has done, and especially everything he has done on the campus, and especially with the brothers. So I think we should give him a The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.